a 2000s classic street basketball icon in shoes is now reborn for the modern era it is the an one chosen one mid made famous by this guy four-time nba defensive player of the year four-time nba all-star nba champion and most recently hall of famer big ben wallace taking a look at the shoes real quick my inspiration to do this review was the fact that there really hasn't been any video reviews online of these shoes, so I thought why not cover them myself. So here we go. As you can see, the thing that catches the eye straight up is this big Velcro strap which helps lock in your foot and also keep the laces nice and snug. Now all these little air holes here are fully breathable. I did put a torch inside it and it, yeah, shined right through. So that's pretty much what drove me to get these shoes because I really need a basketball shoe that is super breathable to reduce swelling and cuts on the bottom of my feet. Now with this air bubble here, it is super firm. I mean, there really isn't any give to it on either side of the shoe so if you're expecting uh, an air bubble in terms of nike where it's a bit squishy it is not that it's pretty firm but nevertheless it's pretty nice to look at on the back here as you can see there is a lot of support on the bottom of the heel so we'll see how that goes when impacting uh, jumps and you know just sliding around the court and as you can see the traction on the bottom of the shoe is quite nice like the pattern, we'll see how it holds up on court. The thing about this shoe I wanted to point out is before I purchased it online, for this particular colorway, it had the modern logo here, and then here on the side, it had the old school logo. But luckily when I received it, it's all just the one modern logo. I mean, I don't mind either way, but it was just kind of weird that one has the old logo and one has the kind of new-ish M1 logo. Um, even the box it comes in, kind of weird, there is the old logo, so there's that there. These shoes that I have here, they are a 10 and a half US, so there's that. Um, first impressions holding the shoes in hand, I mean, um, quality wise, you can see there's a bit of glue showing there. Uh, I do believe there's a little bit of uh, stitching, just a bit off there, so... It wasn't like super premium, as you can see, stitching there. I mean, I guess that's going to happen with the Velcro. Um, I did uh, try the shoes on to get a bit of a feel for them, and they did feel comfy just, you know, standing around, jumping on the spot. But now it's time for the ultimate test. Let's take them to the court and see how they hold up, shall we? <laughs> to it but to do it it's a pretty breezy day out today very windy kind of overcast but i've got my m1 basketball ready to go so let's do it so here we are on court getting a feel for things bit of crossing in and out to start things off i must say on feet walking around they do feel great I can even feel air passing through the toe box of the shoe, especially because it's a windy day, so that's really great. Now, with the shoe's heels, they do feel very firm and solid, not at all squishy, which I know that might deter some people, but when I say firm and solid, I mean that it's uh, nice and tight and snug, so trust me, I don't think you'll be rolling your ankle in these anytime soon, but they've got just what you need in terms of bounce a nice lightweight shoot too it's not too crazy heavy but let's see what it looks like in terms of traction now that first one was not too bad let's take a look at this next slide yeah it's a bit sketchy there but you got to keep in mind we are playing outdoors so i guess you can't judge it too harshly anyway let's take a look at me practicing with the shoes on
just about halfway through playing. I've been here about 10-15 minutes. I will say these shoes do crease up super quick. It's not really obvious there on my left foot, but on my right, which is my takeoff foot, you can kind of see there it's creased up pretty nicely. But hey, to be expected for shoes that you're running around in, pivoting, essentially playing basketball in, you're going to get a couple of scuffs here and there. But these are just some observations from about 15 minutes of play. go that's the review on court quality wise I mean they're actually pretty good you know I guess I was just nitpicking in the beginning with like the loose threads and whatnot but in terms of breathability I can definitely feel the air running through my shoes especially on this windy day so you know you've definitely got a lot of uh, breathability in the shoes traction is decent I wouldn't say the greatest, but keep in mind we are playing outdoors. We're doing the original street ball style. All in all, I think the shoes hold up really well. I guess time will tell in terms of durability, but uh, for one to 10, I would give these shoes a solid 8.3. So there you go. Am one, chosen one mid, made famous by the Big Ben Wallace of the Detroit Pistons fame. Hope you've enjoyed watching this review. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.